Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thank you for being part of it. If you can, drop down in the description and make a donation if possible. And also, there's stickers and t-shirts. Okay, today, we're doing a custom seat installation. Uh, as you recall, in one of my videos prior, that Heather had surprised me and bought me really cool seats, and you can see it here. Oh, wow. And the These... other one's the same for the other side. Yeah. This is so nice. These are going to look amazing. Now, they're sitting lower than they should. They need hiked up about three Isn't inches. It? Absolutely. Okay. Just watch. It's a janky setup. <laughs> oh, I like these. Is it comfortable? Oh, oh. Yes. Nice. Nice. I like them. All right. Very nice. Get a steering wheel. Oh, okay. Let me get one. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Vroom, vroom. Here we go. <laughs> Shift in. Oh, this is my beetle? And I was really delighted about that. They're a really nice quality seat. Uh, I did them before in Gracie, but they were a different style. So today I'm going to show you the brackets and everything that I bought. They're universal. You can buy the stock brackets to fit in the stock tracking, but I don't like that. I want to sit low and I want to sit back further because I'm six foot three. And I know that isn't super tall, but at the same time, I like my leg room and seldom do I ride people in the back seat. If I have to, I will, and I can move the seat up, <laughs> but I want to sit back further. So be patient. This is probably going to be a two part series and you'll see why after I'm towards the end of it, why there will be a second part to the video. And then I get to get on these stupid guide rails that I've been busy with other stuff. So let's go ahead and start on the seats and see what we're getting into. And don't be intimidated by this. You could do some welding if you want, but you don't have to. I'm doing straight up bolt on, okay? But I may come back and do some welding later just for reinforcement. So if you do this, you're at your own risk. You already know that. Do what you think is right. This is for entertainment purposes only. Now what I did do is set up some saw horses to make it easier because this won't fit on my workbench. Uh, I have the pro car scat seats just like you see here. And that's the ones I'm going to be using. I like the low back bucket. I don't believe they're probably as safe. Like if you get hit in the rear end and you know, so, but that's what I choose. That's what I like. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this real quick. I'm going to show you the brackets I bought with the part numbers. And then uh, we're going to have to start fitting and fabricating. So. so what I did do is I got some brackets first and then I'll open that seat up and I bought universal brackets. Okay. And I'll show you right now. Now this will all make sense when you see me start putting it together. Now I got the uh, pro car. These are the part numbers 81,000. Yeah, 81,000 had to check after I said that. And that is from Scat Enterprises and comes with the nuts and bolts, of course. This will actually bolt to the seat brackets. And like I said, this will all make sense when you see it. I don't think I'm using these. You're supposed to imagine cut where need be, weld them, but I chose to go a different path. And there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, these would elevate it high if you want or low, cut where need be and weld. So not a bad thing. I just chose not to use them. But the seat back brackets will bolt onto these and I'll show you what I mean shortly. I'm just giving part numbers right now. And Summit Racing G1151-14. Okay. And just like this bracket, they fit both sides. Nuts and bolts that come with it. And there is four brackets. I used these on my last install with uh, the Super Beetle, and I really like them. Because you can either put them like that, or... <laughs> okay. Or put them like that. You know, depending on which way you need them. Now, these have three positions on them, as you see with the holes. So, I believe they go up to three inches. So, basically, you put them at the height you want. Or, if your floor pan 
is slanted and you need the seat like that, well, then you can go ahead and change the direction of it. So they're very inexpensive. They're very nice. And let's face it, we're all trying to save money. So I can't remember the prices. I'll scroll the prices up the screen for everything. Uh, but the brackets here are also universal, just like these. So you can kind of do what you want with them. They do sell the brackets, as you see right here, for the Beetle. Okay, however, the whole idea of me doing this stuff, and this is all bolt and you don't have to weld. Welding's nice, and I'll probably run a weld in the end, but you can bolt everything in without having to weld. Use the right quality bolts. Uh, point being, if I'm just going to buy a factory setup and put it right on the seat tracks, well, then I'm going to be up against the dashboard again, and that's not what I want. We want to sit lower and back further. So let's go ahead and get the seat open, take a look at the runners. And then we got to do some cutting. So let's get the seat out. I had these open already because I was checking everything. Oh crap, I need a clean blanket. All right, so got the seat out and these I gotta say, these are really nice seats. I hope they hold up well. That's the main thing. But they're very, very soft. I'm gonna make sure I condition them and treat them like leather. It's a vinyl, but it's like a high-end, very soft vinyl. So, and I'll have to look up the uh, part number for the seats if you do want them, and I'll scroll them up the screen. And no, I don't get no money for crap like that. And here is the brackets that came with them. We'll go over these in a second. I'll reposition the camera for you. That's the little hoop that disengages. So I'm going to have to turn the seat over. That's why I got these towels. And we'll go ahead and put the tracks on and see what we got going on here because I need to lower everything down to the area. Because I'm going to need to set the seat in to see where I want it to be. These brackets here will bolt up to the bottom of the seat like that. Okay. And, and you'll get a better perspective once I start doing that. What I am going to do first, oh goody, that don't fit in between there. Oh, well, we'll get it is I'm going to bolt these to here. Then we know where we need the brackets on the floor. This will all make sense as you watch it go down. So let me get this first. Now remember, I'm working with a universal setup here. So this isn't, uh, you know, I, like I said, I could have bought the brackets. This is going to need cut a little. And did it trying to talk while I'm doing this here and bolted it right in on the seat tracks, but I'm not doing that. I don't want it sitting high and up forward. And looky, those don't fit. I'm going to have to cut this and retap these threads because that's what it's seeming like. Yep. We're a smidgen too long. That's supposed to fit in between here. Now it's not a really big deal, but you think they would have, uh, Done that right. Looks like we got about a quarter inch there. Okay. Really? Why this early in the game? All right, give me a second. All right. I didn't expect this. All right, well, that's how it goes. Not a big deal. But what we will have to do is because there's threads here is once I cut it, I have to rethread it. So I made my mark there. Let me get something to cut. So with. I have my mark. I'm just going to use a cutting wheel and I'm going to slice that off there and then we'll retap it. I'll probably have to do both sides. So not a big deal.
don't touch that, it's hot. It's even smoking. Ooh, wow. Let me check something here. And again, don't touch that. So we have that cut. And look at that. And we can also adjust where we need to up and down with that. So before I tap that side, Okay, that one's fine. Okay. Nice. What I'm going to do first is just take the edges off of here. When I cut it off, it left an edge, which is normal. So you don't want to reach under there and get your fingers cut. Okay. Now we have an 8 by 1.25. And we're just going to rechase these threads just to make sure. Come on, messing with me. A little bit of juice on there. I know. Use cutting oil. Okay. Let's run this in, and it flies chasing me around. There we go. See, it wasn't so bad. I just wanted to make sure there was no bad edges at the end where I cut it. So, now don't get intimidated by a lot of this stuff. It's very easy to do. And even though I complained about Harbor Freight, you can get a tap set cheap too if need be there. All right. Let me get a rag. So these universal brackets come with the nuts and bolts, of course. Like I said, they're 8 by 1.25 on the scat seats. Oop. Okay, let's just make sure we're good to go. Yep, they're nice and smooth. So that's all I needed to do. That wasn't really so bad, in all honesty. So let's put these together first, because I'm going to have to take them back apart to paint this anyhow. So let me explain something a second. This is kind of important, I guess. Now you're going to end up seeing me put this together and then take it back apart throughout the two films. I don't know if any of you ever built motorcycles, but I did for years. I built choppers, hardtail choppers, and I'd have to cut, have the frame welded, do stuff, stretch and rake. And by the time I got the bike completely assembled, then I had to take it all back apart to paint the frame, the fenders, because you want everything mocked up first with your cuts and tapping and doing what you got to do. And there's a reason I told you this. If you're wondering why this bracket and the other ones you'll see, he's not painting them. I need everything mocked up first or I'm just going to scratch it to death. So that's that. I had to tell you why I'm doing it without it painted first. So we're mocking it up first. So we have our brackets here. Now these here will get bolted to the seat, but we don't want to do that right now. And you'll see why with everything that I'm doing. It will make sense. We're going to mock it up. Remember that word. And this is very easy to do. The worst thing you need so far as you've seen was a tap set, which they're cheap at Harbor Freight. Okay and possibly a cutting wheel. So, now there's three positions here, okay? But that's all adjustable. I like how adjustable this is going to be. So let's put our lock washers and that on the other end. I can't wait to drive the car, mostly because of the motor that's going in it, and I must say, the seats. So I can sit back and enjoy. It'll all make sense in the end. There was a couple folks that were actually really waiting on this video, but I move as quick as I can. Whoops. Ah.
come on. It's everything got to fight. Okay, you don't tighten it yet until we get everything set up. I sure hope this is in camera view. Although I'm probably getting in front of you a little bit. And, whoop, I did it again. I'm trying to line the whole up. It's a little bit of a snug fit. Come on, get on there. As I always say, only on film. Oh, let me see. Oh, there's two. There we go. Let's get our happy little ratchet. I'm really not worried about tightening and tightening. I'm just kind of snugging right now because we'll be moving them around. Actually, this thing's handy. My son bought me this. He always buys me cool things. Okay, there's that. Now, these are the brackets that are going to go against the floor. All right, now you can do them like I did this before dang it you can do them like this or you can do them like that I chose to do it this way and I'll show you why because I've been through this before so just didn't film this part but that way there or that way there and remember you can if you see the extra holes adjust the seat to tilt which way you need it to so let's go over to the car because we're going to have to cut the brackets out. Okay, again, so you understand what's going on. I try to be as thorough as I can without being annoying. Okay, remember how I said these brackets can go a couple different ways. That's the way that I decided to do them. These are going to need taken back off and painted, and so is these crossbars. But in the meantime, we want to mock everything up, like I said, so we know everything's going. So what I did is I used these little clamps... It was a very temporary thing, so it didn't matter. And that's what held it up. So after I get the seat bracket cut out, I'm going to measure from here to here. Then I'm going to measure from here to the top of the cushion on the seat, and we'll see where we want our adjustments to be. Then, of course, we got to drill holes through here and use the proper grade 8 bolts for the floor. Okay, let's move forward. So... What do I have going on here? Now, what I did is I clamped the brackets. Okay. I clamped them to here so I can at least figure out what I got going on. So, it looks like to me, I don't want to put these, these brackets here, I'm going to have to drill a hole through and bolt them. So, what I don't want to happen is get down into here because then I'm on a tilt. Even though it's adjustable, it's better to start out even. So I clamp these here and my goal is to put it across here on each side. Okay, so back here would be fine. Obviously, I'm gonna have to cut the seat track out. Before you panic, you know, Everything's replaceable. You can weld new brackets and they sell them. So I'm not really worried about that. I'm making the car my own. Uh, so we're going to go ahead next. We're going to cut this bracket out and then mount this flush and mock the seat up with it to see how everything fits and see where the adjustments are. So let me remove this out of here. These brackets actually, they I like them. Nice universal, universal brackets are pretty great here. So not a big deal and I checked underneath where the flat spots are I can get the bolts through but I'll show you up close everything as I'm doing it I was just giving us a little test drive here and it looks like it's gonna work out pretty good so let's cut the bracket next so I tried something here and it seems to be working so far can you see that I cut the spot weld instead of cutting the tracks and let me get the camera set up and I'll show you well I thought the camera was running and it wasn't, but that's okay. I'll drill another one out in front of you. 
see if this broke loose. Here, hear that? And, and I'll show you, once I get this up, I don't want to cut the rails. You know what I mean? I can always reuse them later if I really had to. The factory wells are the best, but, you know, for certain applications. But I don't want to just use a drill bit, okay? I use this. It's from O'Reilly's. It's a spot weld cutter. You just put the tip in the divot, or whatever you call it, and there you go. And you just drill if you drill too far, then you are going to drill a hole. So let's find our next one, and I'll do it in front of you. All right, where are you? Right there. Okay. It is uh, right there. You see that little mark there? Let me bring you in. Now, I'm not telling you to do it this way. You don't have to. You can buy the factory uh, adapters and put them right on your factory seat rails. Hey, let me see if this will pop. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to drill the rest of the spot while it's off, and I'll be right back so I don't bore you. Well, you know what? That wasn't a whole lot of fun, but it's okay. All right, now, as you see here, it is removed. And guess what I did? Drilled a hole in the floor, but it's okay. I'll go ahead and plug weld that shut. I lectured you about not doing that, and I did it anyhow. Anyhow, this is all smoothed out. The top of this right here where the front row rests, I sliced it here. I was wire wheeling like crazy but i couldn't find the spot weld points so no big deal this is all cleaned up not as clean as it's going to get and then i'll continue after i drill the holes with the uh sound deadener i have on hand uh so i did drill a hole by accident in the floor not a big deal i'll plug weld it shut but in the meantime let's set that bracket in here and see what it looks like okay and that is, oh, there we go. <laughs> I just wonder why I wouldn't sit right. Now, I don't know how far up or back I want to go yet with it. So, I don't know. That part i got to figure out. These, oh, that's not going to slide that easy. I think these came out good this way, where these are sitting in the flat spots. And to tell you the truth, that hole... But I shot through, <laughs> probably going to put the bolt right through it. But so what I'm going to do here, loosen that up a hair. Okay, I know some of this is boring, but when you need to reflect back on it, you'll be happy that I bored you. There we go. And there we go. So what we're going to do now is set the seat in here because I want to see how far up or down it is or what the deal is because this is completely adjustable here and then on the sides of course with the brackets so let me grab the seat I had to get the seat okay now obviously it's not bolted down oh there we go so that's where it's going to sit so I may end up lowering the brackets a little bit. I think it's sitting too high for my liking, but I won't know until I bolt everything together. I am really liking this. Now, obviously, I'm not done, but this is the end of part one, and the reason being, I have the seat tracks ready, but I forgot to get the bolts to hold them to the brackets, which is not a big deal. Like I said, I'm splitting this up into two parts, possibly three, because what I have to do now is figure out exactly where I want everything, and then this big bracket and those all need sprayed black after I drill the holes. And what we'll do, okay, is we'll take this apart, okay, I'll run and get some bolts at the hardware store today, I don't know how I forgot that part, and I'm gonna have to drill through here and through here and I'll show you up close I'll put the GoPro on my chest and aim it like you're doing it yourself 
And then we'll clean all this up, spray all this black, drill the holes through the floor, prep everything, and bolt the seat in completely. So this was just part one. So that was part one of the video. And I'm trying to keep his video short because it seems like when I do make them like 45 minutes to an hour long and do the whole thing, it's, I guess everybody's fast forwarding through them and then asking me what I did, which is really weird. Uh, so I kept it short. Uh, I'm going to grab some bolts from Ace Hardware uh, to bolt it to the floor and we'll go ahead and spray them. So part two, we'll get a lot more done. And then part three, you'll see the finished product or maybe during part two. We'll see. <laughs> but thanks for being here. I appreciate y'all and I'll see you on the next one.